Man up now, man up. What's up, folks? It's Man Up Monday. All right, as we do every Monday, and it's probably Tuesday when you're watching this Wednesday, it doesn't matter. We try to keep it as relevant and real for men. We encourage them, we empower you, we educate you. And in the studio, we've been knowing each other for 18 years or so. Yeah, man. It's been a long time. Long Isaac time. Curry, he's that dude. What up, man? What's up, fam? How you doing, man? You're so fashionable, man. Why are you so fashionable? Oh, man, I'm just trying to, I just, just a little something God gave me to put on, man. <laughs> Cover my flesh. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut, cut from just the earth. God just did that thing. Hey, man, so, um, you know, you've been doing a lot. You've been traveling quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, we deal with men, and you and I have had some real candid conversations. Right. One of the things that I have really struggled with, and it's, it, I don't know if it's an ongoing struggle, it's something that I'm still working on, and that is walking in forgiveness um, towards those people that have just, just did me wrong. Yeah. Now, I can get past it. I can say I love you, mm -hmm. but it's <laughs> when I have to be in the same room with you again. Yeah, man. Okay? Yeah. Because, see, I can... I can put on the, the the face. Right. I just met somebody the other day, and I, I do not like them. And I know I don't like them, but I say I love them. <laughs> right. We say we, we, you can like them. Mm -hmm. you, you can love, love them, but you ain't got necessarily like, like them. Mm -hmm. How do you walk in forgiveness? Well, you know, my story is different. You know, that's, that's definitely a part of it. You know, people can wrong you, or you can wrong people, and you feel uncomfortable. Oh. So forgiveness has different layers. You know, it's you forgiving people. It's you forgiving yourself. Uh, another big piece of forgiveness for me was forgiving my father for not being there. Mm. And as a child growing up, I was always cool. I, I didn't see the ramifications or the debris on my life from not having a father, so I thought. Until I grew older and I started seeing that promiscuous spirit on my life or, you know, sexual impurities or uh, not trusting or dealing with all these things that I dealt with, and I saw that I never really dealt with my childhood when it came to my father. I never really dealt with the fact that he wasn't there. Why wasn't he there? Uh, but I also didn't grow up bitter until I got older. And I started asking myself questions like, why wasn't he there? Was I not good enough? Mm. You know, and, and what role did this play on my children's lives? You know, and I had to learn to forgive him. Because a lot of times we hold people accountable for what they, they did the best that they could do at that time. And see, we have more knowledge now. Right. And we have more resources and outlets like Man Up, you know, that can deal with those issues. But back in that day, maybe that's all he knew. And he did the best he could with what he had. And I had to learn to forgive him and walk in forgiveness so that I can be free to be that great father, to be that great man. And so forgiveness has been a huge piece in my life that I've been really still dealing with. Because sometimes, you know how it is, we can think we're over something and we see something else in ourselves. Something it's triggers like, it. Yeah, man. Yeah. And it's like... Ugh. It's something small like a tone, or yeah. you know, the, or and, and you just, it just comes out of nowhere. Or a movie, or right, something on TV. Right. Wow. Anything can trigger it, and you're like, "Yo, that's me." And I had to learn how to be honest with myself. Isn't it crazy how you can be honest with other people, but you're a lie to yourself yeah. when it's just you and God? It's like, "No, nah, I'm good." No, you're not. You're not good. You don't want to be hurt. Yeah, you don't want to be hurt. So be hurt I've been really dealing with that, KD, and uh, and and organizations like Man Up and conversations that we've had one on one, man, have really, really helped me come full circle with dealing with it. Not that I've necessarily overcome it 100. Yeah. percent But I think the process is you deal with it, own it, deal with it, and then the 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 deliverance from it. I think it's a daily yeah. process, man. Absolutely. That scripture really blessed me to talk about, and we say it when we right before we play basketball or whatever. We they, we say the Lord's prayer. Yeah. You know. Forgive us our trespasses or forgive us our sins mm -hmm. just like we forgive those who have sinned against us. Absolutely. So what we're saying is, Lord, handle me when I do wrong to you the same way I handle other people mm. when they do wrong to me. Ooh, that's good. So for me, man, that says I constantly got to make sure that I work on me. You yeah. got to always clock in to the job called you, you. every day. <laughs> That's good. And do a full eight hours. Yeah, man. For real, bro. Yeah, you can't afford to take off, you know, because you'll pay for it. Love you, boy. Love you too, man. Appreciate you. Man up.